Welcome one and welcome all. We are here with Japan's Champions League tournament. We have a Mill Tank deck here on the left versus a Mew VMAX deck on the right. Mew VMAX loses Quick Ball, and that is it going into this new standard format where the D block rotates. All that it loses is Quick Ball. Yes, that's less cards that you can use to thin cards out of your hand, but you still have Nest Ball and Feather Ball. You are regaining the ability to play this Nest Ball. It looks like they are using that Sun and Moon era art, which I do love to see the older copy of the card. Um, Mew decks in this format are already, I, like it's already been like somewhat solved. You just replace the four Quick Balls with three Nest Ball and one Feather Ball. And that's, that's the deck. That's, that's the deck. That's it. Uh, deck still operates just the same. You can still play Path to the Peak and all your other, other nutty tools. You still have Judge that was recently reprinted. I believe it's being reprinted in Scarlet and Violet as well. With a new rotation block written on it on the new artwork. And we are just going to pass. Looks like we are seeing yet another Gardevoir deck. This seems to be a very popular deck coming out of this new format here with the Scarlet and Violet. Even though we have access to all of those Gardevoir cards now except for the new EX, people are still choosing to play just the old Gardevoirs, not even playing the Gardevoir EX in certain situations. So the Curlia, the Stage 1, does discard a card to draw two cards then the Gardevoir the single prize Gardevoir does allow you to look at the top two cards of your deck attach the any basic energies that are in there to your Pokemon and then add the other cards to your hand so at worst it's also a draw two where you don't have to discard so pretty solid stage two line all the way up Mew VMAX does not care about this mill tank with its essentially safeguard ability. I believe it has a different name on the mill tank, but there have been many cards in the past with the safeguard ability that do very similar things, as well as the Hoopa with Scoundrel Ring. It cannot be hit by Pokemon V. However, the Max Miracle on Mew VMAX allows you to bypass the effects on your opponent's Pokemon, so you would bypass that effect and still do the damage. Uh, Mill Tank has 110 HP with the double turbo energy. You are doing 100 copying a second Mew V Max's Max Miracle with your cross fusion strike. So you are able to just knock this little bugger out. We now have three Ralts in play. We also see the reprinted level ball here as well. Love that card that allows you to search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Put it into play. Well, just put it in your hand, actually. You don't even have to put it into play. So you can search even Curlia with that, which is really great because that has 90 HP or less. Looks like we are seeing the Lost Vacuum is going to Lost Zone our own path to the peak. We are going to put down another Mew and we are going to be able to draw until we have five cards in our hand since we have five Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. This is the newer art of Mew that I believe came out in our Crown Zenith set. Uh, for Japan, it came out in a completely different set. Their sets are a lot different than ours, but we generally get a majority of their cards either way. They are always just released in a different way. We see the evolution to the Mew V Max and a boss's orders here as well. We are going to be taking out the routes. That is not only the correct decision, but also you do not have double Mew V Max in play, so you can't max, max Miracle anyway. So might as well just play the boss's orders Knock out Eralt so your opponent has one less out to drawing cards. Killing their consistency early makes it so they're less likely to set up in future turns. And you can see Mew is playing just as it has in all the formats of the past so far. Ever since its release in Fusion Strike, Mew has just been GoBurr.deck. We are able to draw so many cards. Looks like we even have the Lost City here in Mew. I do believe that Reggie's may still be playable in this format, which is kind of funny. So Lost City, I don't believe right now it's relevant, but the next Japanese set that comes out does release a new rainbow, uh, a rainbow special energy. It only works if it's the only special energy attached to the Pokemon. 
though. Otherwise, it becomes a colorless. So if you have two of it on the same Pokemon. So that does help Reggie's. But unfortunately, Reggie's does lose the Aurora energy. So I think it will be a lot less likely to see a lot of play. You will have to play some basic energies in it. Uh, which will be unfortunate. Looks like we do see that the Mill Tank was promoted here. We do have a Water Energy. This might be another one of those. Oh yeah, we do see a Gudra in the discard pile already. So this, yeah, this is just another one of those Gudra decks. It looks like the way to play Gudra now in Japan is replacing the Lost Zone engine with the Gardevoir line. We could actually play the deck like this right now, should we want to. We don't even have to wait for the next format in order to play it this way. The rotation does slow the format down a little bit, which allows the Stage 2s to be more uh, played a little bit better. So, gives them a little more oomph. Uh, but we do have Lake Acuity, which allows your Pokemon with Water Energy attack to, uh, attached to, to take 20 less damage. Looks like we are Cremomaticing, discarding a Feather Ball. We are going to flip a coin, and it is Tails! Actually flipping a coin for that effect is something that they actually do in Japan. Very interesting to see. I very much prefer the dice because they do not fly off the table. Especially those Pokemon dice do not have any weight to them, so they just go flying everywhere. I've tried flipping coins, and they... Yeah, they're just they're just everywhere all the time. Looks like we flip heads on this Cram-O-Matic, though. Looks like that may be a gym promo Cram-O-Matic as well. It's got that gym promo stamp on it. So we've got double Mew VMAX set up. Looks like we're still going for the boss's orders, even though we now have the out to the mill tank. Again, still better to just get rid of your opponent's setup. Get rid of that Curlia before it can evolve into Gardevoir and start setting up energies onto your Gudras. I think that Gudra has an absolutely horrendous matchup to Mew, in my personal opinion. Also, it's very interesting to note they're showing two players that are one and one. You'd think that they'd want to just show the undefeated players, but these are both players that have one win and one loss, which is a lot different than how we do it over here. We always like to show the undefeateds until we're just in win and in rounds and then show win and in matches, which I do prefer because that makes sure that the games that you see on stream are most likely to be of a higher caliber. Whereas if you're showing someone who has 50% of their rounds be a loss, especially this early in the tournament, you're just showing that, like, you might just see somebody who's just misplaying left and right. I mean, I'm not necessarily seeing any misplay here from either player. It's just, you know, it's just a thing that could happen. Looks like we are just going to have that mill tank go to the active here and a pass. And this is pretty rough. I do believe that the mill tank will be able to live a hit against this max miracle because of the stadium so you may want to replace that stadium if you can here looks like it's another heads with cramomatic so we're two for three on heads that's pretty decent odds gonna search our deck for any one card i would get the lost city if i were them oh, looks like we're gonna go for a cross switcher maybe we already have another one in hand it's hard to tell, but there are cards in his hand. You can see it right here. This is his hand, and this is the card that he just searched. So it's not like he's going to be able to be using too many Genesects. So anyway, we are going to now be removing this Gudra from play. Just chasing down everything. This is what I love to see. I love playing games like this where you just go Gust Effect, Gust Effect, Gust Effect, and being able to pick off every one of your opponent's Pokemon before they can really set it up. This is how I generally win Lugia Mirrors. It's just, it's how Darkrai decks like to work during the Darkrai EX era with four Pokemon catchers in deck. Although sometimes I would play four catchers in a turn just to bicycle for a couple extra cards, so. 
formats be different these days? We are going to see a power tablet here that will allow the knockout. I'm not sure if we have retreated yet. If we used cross fusion strike on the last turn, but we probably used uh, we probably used max miracle if we had both the mu v's in or the mu v maxes in play. So we are going to go for the techno blast here for 220 exactly, taking two prize cards, leaving us with two remaining here on the right for the mu player. And I don't think that there is any way that this Gudra can recover at this point. Yep, just passes from here. Has really nothing left. You see the smile and the giggle here from the player on the left. They still love to play it out in Japan even if they know they've lost. And especially since you are on the stream, I suppose that if I were on the stream for an official Pokemon tournament, if I'm in the second game and lost the first one and know I'm going to lose the second, or if we're in game three and I know I'm going to lose this game, I might still try to play it out just to let the kids at home actually see a match, you know? See a natural conclusion instead of just somebody scooping, because that's not as entertaining, you know? Gotta, gotta give the, the kids in the crowd a little bit of a show. Plus, it's best of one anyway, so you've got 13 and a half more minutes to sit here, so you might as well. We are going to see a Cramomatic yet again. The law of averages should say that this is Tails. And it is! Oh, love being psychic because of math. We are going to Power Tablet yet again. That will allow Max Miracle to knock out this uh, mill tank. We are also going to Ultra Ball away a Mew Max and a Double Turbo. A little bit greedy there, in my opinion, but you have... Yeah, because you have three energies already in play. If a Genesect gets bossed up, you now have to have a switching card. So I don't like that Ultra Ball here, getting rid of those cards. Again, very, very greedy play there. Oh, we are also going to see the Echoing Horn... The stadium. Oh, never mind. This is not a greedy play. He's going for the win on this turn. I mean, it's still a little bit of a greedy play, but if you know that you can win the game on this turn, always go for it. We are going to get a second one of the four seal stones down. We are going to get a choice belt. We are going to V star for the boss's orders, I would assume. And then boss up that Gudra, and then Techno Blast for the game. I do believe we still have to retreat in order to do that, though. Boss's orders. Do we retreat? Yes, we remember to retreat. Thank the Lord. And we Techno Blast for 250, winning the game, taking the last two prize cards. I hope you guys are enjoying these matches from Japan. I certainly am. I really love seeing this new format and how it's developing. Make sure you hit that like button down below to show your support to make sure that these videos get shown in other people's feeds. Comment down below whatever tickles your fancy and hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, you might as well be subscribed anyway. You'll see all the videos come into your feed as they are posted and we will see you guys next time.